Hey everyone, Theo here. In today's video, I'm going to give you some tips on how you can draw more often or where you can find time to draw more often. So this video is for those who have busy work schedules, uh, people who have commitments, family to take care of, people who have no inspiration, motivation, people who procrastinate, people who have a lot of blank sketchbooks in their cupboards. So this video is for you. The first tip is very simple. Just take your sketchbook and put it somewhere accessible. Put your sketchbook on the table. Have your sketchbook somewhere accessible where you can see it so that you can flip open the cover very easily to start drawing. When your sketchbooks are within reach, you can reach out for your sketchbooks very easily. And if you are someone who spends a lot of time outdoors, you can bring along a small sketchbook, maybe one that can fit in your pocket so that you can draw whenever you have the time, such as when you are waiting for the bus, the train, or waiting for your friends or colleagues when they are late for lunch. If you don't want to bring a sketchbook out, you can always draw on your phone. So these are some sketches that I drew on my phone while I'm outside. And depending on the phone that you use, you may have to buy a stylus so that it's easier for you to draw on your phone compared to drawing with your finger. So these are some sketches that I drew while waiting uh, for things to happen. The next tip is to stop spending so much time on social media because social media can be quite addictive and they are huge time sinks. So what you should do is to spend your time on social media more purposefully. For example, you can look for interesting styles that you may want to replicate. Just do a screenshot of the style and revisit it the next day just to replicate it or look for ideas or jot down some ideas for subjects that you may want to draw instead of just scrolling through the feed mindlessly. If you have difficulty coming up with ideas on what to draw, you can create a visual journal and think of a theme and draw subjects relating to the theme. For example, I have a sketchbook here where I have filled with things that relate to my two kids. So these are the sketches that I have drawn of my daughter, Tiffany, her toys, and I also invite her to draw on this sketchbook. You can use a tablet as well. So this is a new visual journal that I have just started and these are sketches of my second daughter, Trisha. So these are sketches of her growing up. And this is another visual journal. These are all the different types of noise that I have to deal with when making my YouTube videos. Your sketchbooks can have different themes. So this is a sketchbook where I draw random stuff or test out some art materials or just um, doodle for fun. This is a sketchbook that I use for urban sketches for sketching outdoors. And this is the sketchbook you saw earlier, the one that I use to sketch all things related to my two kids. Having a visual journal can help you draw more often because you have already chosen the subject and all you have to do is to add new drawings to your visual journal. You can add them to a current page that you are working on or add new drawings to drawings that you have drawn yesterday. The next tip is to draw small sketches because they take less time to draw and complete. So where a small sketch such as this can take five to 10 minutes and you can fill up a sketchbook very easily with small sketches such as this. And if you want to use watercolor, well, it's going to take more time. This sketch was drawn today. I took 15 minutes for the line art and another 30 minutes to paint the watercolor. Watercolor will take more time because you have to wait for the water to dry. If you're using a big sketchbook, you don't always have to fill the page or the pages. You can just draw how much you can draw within the time you have. You can leave a portion of the page blank and come back to it some other day. 
Sometimes I would just draw on a small portion of the page when I have no time. When I have more time, I can draw on a full page. And on some other days where I have no time again, I will come back to this half blank page and draw something to fill in the page slowly. If you are a parent who doesn't have time because you have to take care of your children, you can invite your kids to draw with you. Just be aware that they may destroy your art or your pages. So for example, this is a sketch of Tiffany when she was three years old and I invited her to draw on this page and these are the scribble marks that she left on the page. And here she left more scribble marks. You can create art projects for your kids. So here I drew some shapes and asked Tiffany to fill in the shapes with some faces. I drew the ears and the legs and the hair. And it's very fun to look back at all these artworks in the future. This is a family portrait. That's me, that's mommy. That's Tiffany, and that's the little baby, Trisha. Here I believe she was trying to draw a house. Um, that's her trying to write her name. Don't be too caught up with perfection. You don't always have to create the perfect page or the perfect sketch because there are many ways to use a sketchbook. You can certainly create a very detailed sketch such as this. This one probably took me one hour to one and a half hours to complete. Or you can use your sketchbooks to test out ideas. Uh, here I was testing out different compositions and different value studies. You can also use your sketchbooks to test out different combination of mixed media and see whether or not those media work together. You can use your sketchbooks to test out ideas and this can be very useful because you can identify problematic areas in advance. You can make your mistakes at the drafting stage so that you can avoid making the same mistakes when you are creating your detailed illustrations or your painting. For example, here I can check whether or not I have the correct perspective. And if I'm painting, I can also test out some color mixes on the sketchbook before I paint on the more expensive watercolor paper. And this is the sketch that I have drawn and painted based on the draft that I have created. A black and white sketch such as this is not going to take a lot of time to complete. These are some extremely rough sketches. I have red lines for the perspective lines. And I also have some of the ink that bled over from this page, from the watercolor brush that I used here. You don't have to rush to fill your sketchbook. You can take days, weeks, or even years to fill your sketchbook. This sketchbook was started in 2016 and it's only half filled six years later today this sketchbook was filled in a month this sketchbook is the visual journal for my kids and it's probably going to take 10 years to fill or maybe i should draw more often so that i can document in detail my kids who are growing up so fast if you want to draw more often it would be great if you can turn it into a habit because when something becomes a habit it's going to take less effort to do for example, I blog, I sketch, and I make YouTube videos. All this take a lot of effort. However, all this have become a habit to me, so it's very easy for me to get into the mood to write something, to draw, or to make my YouTube videos. All my tools are very accessible. If I want to make a YouTube video, I just grab my tripod, which is one arm's length away, put it in front of me, put a camera on it, attach a microphone, and start recording. Sometimes when I don't have the inspiration or the motivation to do what I want to do, I will look at my phone where it has this list of other things that I can do. And if I don't feel like doing anything, I will still look at the list and I will come up with ideas uh, or things to do and add it to the list so that I can do those things whenever I am free or when I have the motivation to do things. 
I haven't relied on motivation to do things for a very long time because everything has become a habit so everything is now easier to do relatively speaking for me I don't rely on making a schedule I don't set aside time to make my art or videos I just make my art or videos whenever I have time I don't set aside schedule because sometimes I can be very busy sometimes I can have more free time so I just use whatever time that I have um, look through the list of to do's and just do those things that I want to do good habits will make you more productive and bad habits will make you less productive now I don't create content all the time I don't sketch or make my YouTube videos all the time I also rest having a good rest is very important because having a good rest will put you in a condition to put out good work so those are the tips that I have for you to help you draw more often try them and let me know in the comment section below whether they work for you and if you are using some other tips to draw regularly that I did not mention in this video share with me and the others um, your tips thanks for watching see you in the next video bye